Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Professor. In today's video, we are going to find out how to create a survey in Airtable. For this, simply open your Airtable application and here it will look something like this. You can click on a start from scratch or simply start with a template. I'm going to start with a scratch. So this is my scratch that I want to start on. And here we'll have to basically fill out some information in these tables and make it anyhow that you want. And then you'll have to basically click on the views option. And after clicking on the views at the top left corner, you will have these options under the create menu. If you click on this create that is at the bottom left, it will show up these options. Here you'll have to basically create a form in order to create a survey in Airtable. Click on the form option under the create and name your form anything that you want. So basically, if this is a survey on a school experience, I will type in a school experience as the survey's name and click on create new view. After that, I will have these fields on my Airtable. So this is basically the form that we are going to work on. Here, you can add a cover image by clicking here and basically you'll have to buy a plan for this in order to upgrade it to a Airtable plan and get to add a cover image. If you wanna add a logo, you'll have to buy a plan. But other than that, you can create a survey for free. Click on this school experience and you can rename your form anything that you want. And you can also add a description for this form. For example, I want to type in, fill out the fields for helping us out with a school survey. And here we have this first one that says name. So here, if you click on this field, you will have these menus. You can click on required if you want it to be required. You can toggle the switch for required if you want this field to be mandatory. If someone doesn't fill this field, they will not be able to submit the form. You can click on remove field from the form and this field will be deleted. If you want to name it again, you can click on this name and edit field. And here you'll have to basically name the field. For example, if I want to add enter your name and it's going to be a single line text, click on save. And here we can also add some help text. Enter your real name. This is going to be the description of this field. And in this field, the viewer who is viewing this form will be entering his credentials or anything that we've asked. So coming down to the next, this is notes. I'm going to click on required and this field will be set as mandatory again. And here you will have the option to edit this field and then click on this drop down menu. And for example, I want to add email and I want the email for all the users. So I will type in email as the field's name and add the description, for example, enter your email and click on save. And here we can see that changing this field's configuration will impact one dependency. Click on confirm change and that will be done. So whoever is going to come to fill this form will have to enter his email here. You can also add some help text. For example, enter your email please. And now, here we have the assign option. You can select it again and change it to anything that you want. If you want it to be required, click on required and this will be set as mandatory field again. Here you can add some help text. If you don't want to do this, just leave this field as it is and it will be left as the same. And here you can enter the status. You can click on required and select this drop down menu, click on edit field and here you can select one predefined option from a list or prefill with each new cell with default option. For example, the color code options are like this. You can alphabetize. Here you can change the name of this field as done or anything that you want to do. So this is basically the action field that we are going to do. You can replace them anyhow you want just by dragging them up to down. You can add another option and this will be added in your field. For example, submitted and hit enter. And you can also add a default option as done and then click on save and that will be added as the status field of my survey. You can click on add fields to this table and a new field will appear where you can add this field and name it anything that you want. For example, I want to add this field as phone number and click on this drop down menu and select phone number and click on save. And I would have successfully added a field that says phone number. And then you'll have to basically click on submit and forms can not be submitted from the form builder. Use the shared form to submit a response and you can use a shared form to submit a response. And here we have these options. You can see who submitted a response to the form. You can toggle this on to view this. This will require people to sign into the air table. And if you select this off, the people or the viewers will not need to sign into air table. If you toggle this on, this will show air table branding. If you want to redirect the people to URL after the form is submitted, you can on this and get it upgraded to a premium plan. And after the form is submitted, you can select all the actions right here. You can show this message to the people viewing your form. So for example, thank you for submitting the form. We appreciate it. 
So I will type in this message and this message will be shown to everyone who is submitting this form. You can toggle this on that says show a submit another response button. So this will basically allow users to submit another response on your form. You can show a new blank form after five seconds just by toggling this on. You can also allow users to email yourself. If you toggle this on, people will be able to email you at the email address that you would have entered. So basically after creating this form, you will have to go to the top of this and review everything that you have created in your form. And then if you want to view your form, how it is going to look like, click on open form and this will open your form in another browser. So here is my form. It's a school experience. Fill out all the fields for helping us out with a school survey. Here is my customized form and it's looking good. And here we can see that if I'm the viewer of this form, I'm able to add all these fields, information and click on submit. And if you miss any mandatory fields, it's going to show this message. This field is required. You have to enter something before submitting. And after submitting all these, the viewer, you will have to click on submit and this form will be submitted to me on my ear table. You can leave this site too. And after doing and customizing your form, you will have to basically click on share form option at the top left corner. And then you will be able to copy this link and share this link to anyone that you want on web, on Insta or any of the platforms that you want to share this link to. You can also do the settings of this link by clicking on link settings and you'll have the option to restrict access with a password and enter a password for your form. For example, if I set the form password to be 123, I will type in and click on set password. For example, if I want the password to be anything, I will have to enter a six character password and click on set password. After that, the access will be password protected. You can also edit the password by clicking on the edit button here and enter a new password and click on change password and the form's password will be changed. You can also restrict access to an email domain. So if you want your form to be accessed by people with a specific email domain, you will have to enter the domain, for example, at live.com and then set email domain and this will be added as your email domain and only people with live.com email domain at their last will be able to access my form. You can click on a stop accepting new responses and this form will not accept response after you click on this. And then you can go back, copy this link and share it to anyone that you want and your form will be shared with people and they will be able to fill this form and you'll be able to record their data. So that's how we can create a survey in Airtable, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.